Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to show you my monthly favorites of August. So this is a couple of products that I have really been liking through August and they both is skincare and makeup. Okay, so I think I will start with the skincare and then go over to makeup. But I can start with one thing first that is not makeup or skincare and this that is my ear weights. I have stretched ears. I have 20 millimeters, and they are not so comfortable to sleep on. Uh, the ear like twist like this, or sometimes, and it get a little bit sore. So I bought these, and I really love them. They are so comfortable, and I think it looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit strange with an empty ear. But I really like them and they are, they feel good to have. So if you have stretched ears and have not tried ear weights, do it. Um, these are from a UK site, I think they are called custom plugs. I can leave um, the link in the description if you want to buy ear weights. Okay, so let's go into the skincare. And I have three, almost four things I want to talk about. So you can start with a um, face mask that I've really been loving. I have used this mask a couple of times, maybe once a week. And it's from Comfort Zone. It's a vegan brand, I think at least. This mask is vegan and I think all the products are ve vegan. And this is the Hydra Memory Mask. It's a very intense moisturing mask. It's, I think, the most expensive skincare <laughs> I have ever bought. Uh, but it's so good. I really, really love it. Then the other two products of skincare are very cheap skincare. It's both from The Ordinary. The first one is the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. And this is for your under eyes or the area around your eyes. And this will target, reduce appearance of eye contour, pigmentation and of puffiness. And I think this is helping. I usually, I use eye creams, but I don't think they are doing anything for me. But this, I think is doing something. I am starting to get a little bit old. And I got a little bit of wrinkles here, but when I have, I have used this for two weeks now and I think it looks a little bit better. The one thing I like about this and the one thing it feels like it's really helping, you can feel the skin, it's, you can feel it on the skin, not in a bad way, but in a good way. And it feels like it's doing something and I think I can see a difference. I don't know but I really like this and if you are getting a little bit older you maybe want to try it. The other thing from The Ordinary is the Neut Neutral Moisturizing Factors plus HA and I usually use this when I have used a um, very strong facial mask like an acid mask or something or a harsh scrub then I use it and I, f I like it. I don't see so much difference, but I like it, can definitely buy it again, and I don't use this every day, only when I have done masks, strong masks. The next thing that I think is both uh, skincare and makeup is this little spray from the Body Shop, it's their Mandarin Energizing Face Mist, and this is going to make your skin more glowy looking and it's a little bit hydration and it's also makeup friendly so I use this in the mornings if I'm not wearing any makeup I use it over my day cream or I use it on my makeup I don't like typical face no setting sprays I don't know if it's because I'm dry but I really like this better than I like my setting sprays and I I don't know if it helps the makeup, but the makeup feels better on my skin and I get a little glow of it. So I really, really love this. 
So I think I'm going to buy this again when this is empty. And then I have some beauty products, makeup products. It's not so many, it's like five. One, two, three, four, five, six products. And we can start with a tool and it's a makeup sponge. It's from Ecotools. I really like this one. It's pretty cheap and I didn't thought I would like it because it's pretty hard. But I think this is really good and I can absolutely buy this again. Also I have a new favorite highlight, and not maybe favorite, but highlight that I really like. And it's from Kristen Leanne's collab with Urban Decay. And this is a little palette with three highlights, but I have loved this one in the middle. It looks like this. I haven't used it today. It's really easy to work with. It's very pigmented. But it's not too much. So I really loved it. And they are cutting down trees. Fuck. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get this anymore. I bought mine half off. Uh, I don't know if it's left anything every, anywhere else. But I really like it. And this is the first highlight I tried from Urban Decay. How much trees can there be? Okay, then two... Okay, then two eyeshadow palettes. I have really been liking this last couple of weeks. First is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. This is one of my favorite palettes. Do I have to shout? It looks like this. I almost like all the colors in this one. Of course I have my favorites, but it's a really good palette. And the matte are good and the shimmery are good as well. And Juvia's Place are the best with makeup, with eyeshadows. So I've really been using this. A lot. I'll be back. Wait. Okay, I punched him in the face. This one I was thinking if I really should take because I haven't tried all the colors and I haven't tried it as much as I want to before I can say it's a favorite. But I, <laughs> I take it anyway because I have really been loving this and it's the Vivid Pigments from Colored Rain. I can leave my first impression up in the card if you want to check that video out. Today I have only been using this. I've used this, this and this. And I usually don't like purple. But I really like these colors. I like how the makeup turned out. For now I say this is one of my favorite. I will call it palette even though it is single shadows. I really like it, the colors I have tried, so it will be a favorite in this video. I have bought a little mascara from Pixi by Petra. It's the lower lash mascara and it's for your lower lash with a super tiny brush. I don't know if you can see it. I know you can use your regular mascara on your lower lash but my lower lash they are almost as long as my upper lash and when I use the upper lash mascara it's either volumizing or lengthening and I don't want that I only want color on my lower lash because I got almost blonde lashes and I want them black and I have makeup on but I don't want my lower lash to be bigger or longer and this mascara is just making them black so I really like this I don't know I have wanted this for a couple of years maybe two years now but I have never bought it and I don't understand why so if you only want your lower lash to be black buy this one and the last thing in this is a lipstick and it's from Anastasia. I have these mini. And this is soft pink. It's a matte lipstick. And I bought a bundle with four of these little lipsticks. And first I did not like this color. I was thinking about not having it in my collection. 
because I wanted the other three but not this one. But this month I have really been loving this. I should have put it on today. It looks like I almost giving you the finger. It looks like this, so it's pink, and I usually don't like pink lips. But I'm doing it now. And it's a little pink and not super pink. And this is such good formula on lipsticks, Anastasia's matte lipstick. They are not drying on the lips, super easy to work with and apply and they are staying on the lips really really good. So this I have been loving. So that was all of my favorite for this month. I try to do this every month and I think I have... Oh is this cat? I think I have done it all the year except for January? I don't know. So I hope you like this video and if you like it you can give, give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. So I will see you in the next one. Bye!